and welcome to another KiCad tutorial to design a connector footprint KiCad tutorial 1.7. Now we are now at the stage where we have to allocate a footprint to this the um, connectors J1 and J2. They are they have KiCad or rather DigiKey ED number 2609 hyphen nd. I've already checked that uh, KiCad does not have a footprint for them so we'll have to make our own KiCad footprint. As mentioned before this tutorial ser series is based on a blog KiCad tutorial and in particular this uh, video is tutorial 1.7 design a connector footprint. Now this I'll put the particulars of, of the um, blog in the description below. This particular connector with DigiKey ED2609-ND is in fact an onshore technology connector with part number, with this part number, OS TC X2162, and we can get to the data sheet by clicking here. Uh, I'll also leave the description in the description the link to this data sheet. I have already downloaded it and uh, I would just like to show you a couple of things. I've zoomed it a bit so one can see it more clearly. But as you can see the distance between the two pins are 5.08 millimeters. The distance to the side of the connector is 3.1 millimeter and the diameter of the pin of the connector is one millimeter. Now according to the um, PCB layout they suggest a diameter of 1.3 millimeters for the uh, for the pins, and they repeat repeat the dimensions here once again: 4.2 from the side, and 3.1 from the side, and the distance between the two pins is 5.08 millimeters. And for that we have to open the footprint editor and what we do is we click over here new footprint on this icon the horizontal IC with the green legs we click on it and it says opens a little window says new footprint and we must give it a name I gave mine connector digikey ED2609 hyphen EDV. And we click OK. And there we are. There's the start of our footprint. And we let's save it. And then it asks us where we want to save it. And as I already mentioned to you, we can't save it in any KiCad uh, footprint library, so we'll save this footprint in the DigiKey footprint library. And click over here and click where it says DigiKey hyphen footprint. And click save. And there it is saved. Let's take this window away. Okay, for starters, let's move. Let's select these text and just move them out of the way a bit. That one a bit down. And let's start by adding pads. Select this little green circle here. Add pad. Click on it. And we place it more or less over here. We right click. We click cancel. Select the pad, so right click, 
select properties and as far as the exposition is concerned just want to show you quickly uh, remember we want these two holes to be symmetrical uh, around the center at the vertical line at, at zero so we want it um, in a minus x direction half of that is two comma five four millimeters so we want that at minus two comma five four millimeters we obviously want it at in an y direction at zero so we'll just make that zero comma zero hole size is one comma three millimeters remember just want to show you quickly there it is it says one comma three millimeters so we'll make the hole size one comma three millimeters and we that is that distance from there to there and we'll make the overall distance double that we'll make that at 2.6 millimeters and we'll click OK. Now for the second pad, select the first pad, right click, select duplicate, move it towards the right, more or less over here, right click on the second pad, select properties and we make this pad number two and the position we want it was is a, just a mirror image so it is at plus 2.54 millimeters and we want this once again in the y direction we want that at zero once again whole size 1.3 millimeters Overall distance, double that, 2.6 millimeters. And we click OK. There we are. And we now click Save. Now we have already have the pads so far. Now we still have to do the outline of our footprint. What I want to show you, we want to draw this start with this left vertical line over here and as you can see the footprint is going to be symmetrical around the y-axis so we want half of 5,08 millimeters which gives us 2,54 millimeters plus 3,1 millimeters and then we add in further 0 0.12 millimeters to take into account the thickness of the line. The length of the left vertical line we take as uh, 4.2 millimeters plus 0 0.12 millimeters uh, once again to take into account the thickness of the line and we do that both ways. Just to recap, 5,082 millimeters divided by 2 is, is equal to 2,5 millimeters plus 3,1 millimeters. It's 5,64 millimeters plus we add 0 0,12 millimeters, which gives us 5,76 millimeters. And because we start on the negative side of the, the y axis, or rather the x-axis, it's going to be minus 5,76 millimeters. Uh, as far as the y-axis is concerned, remember I said we take 4,2 millimeters, we add 0, 0,12 millimeters, which gives us 4,32 millimeters. So we click on add graphic line, we draw the graphic line, like that. Right click, select cancel. 
select the left vertical line, right click, properties. Remember we said it's going to be minus 5, comma, 7, 6 millimeters. It's in the negative x axis, 5, comma, 7, 6 millimeters. The Y axis, we said it's going to be 4.32 millimeters, 4,32, like that. We're going to end at 4,32. And we click OK. That's it. And we've got the left vertical line. Now we're going to draw the right vertical line. Select the left vertical line, right click, duplicate, move the duplicate to the right in the plus x direction, right click, select properties, This is a mirror image. The only difference is this is now on in the plus x side. So this must be plus 5,64. In point x must be 5, sorry. Uh, 5,7. Six five comma seven six and this must be minus four comma three two and this must be plus four comma three two and click OK. Now let's do the horizontal line, the top horizontal line. We select the line again. We draw the top horizontal line between the two vertical lines. Something like that. And right click, cancel. And we select it. And we right click, properties. So it must start at minus five comma six uh, seven six start point x end point x plus five comma seven six start point y minus four comma three two in point y minus four comma three two and we click OK and there we are there's the top horizontal line now we select the top horizontal line again the right click duplicate and we move it to the lower horizontal line and we right click and we select properties and it must be minus seven comma six start in point x minus five comma seven six in point x plus five comma seven six and start point y must be four comma three two and end point y is must be four comma three two and there we are there we've finished our um, 
footprint for the digit key ED2609 connector and we click save. What we must do now is we must allocate the footprints that we've made and uh, go into the DigiKey Footprints library, we click on it and then we scroll and we look for the footprint that we made, uh, created, designed, here it is, DigiKey Footprints connected DigiKey ED2609-EDV click, double click on it and it gets allocated and we do the same for J2 the second connector we double click on it and it gets allocated and we click apply save schematic and continue what I like to do is to give the footprint just a final check Click on the footprint, right click, click view footprint, and uh, just make a couple of rough measurements. Click over here on the side to this more or less the center. That gives us 3.19 millimeter. According to the data sheet, it must be 3.1 millimeter. Distance between the center of the pads, we measure that 5,13 millimeters. Look at the data sheet, it must be 5,08, so that seems to be okay. This distance from here to here, center of the pad to the side, 3.16 millimeters, and the data sheet says it must be 3.1, and final measurement from here to the edge, it's about 4.2. 4 millimeters according to the data sheet it must be 4,2 so okay so this 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 uh, footprint seems to be fine I think this is enough for now next time we will create a footprint for the inductor I do leave links in the description below if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below Please click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and goodbye.